Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I want to say Merry Christmas. I'm actually not in my hometown right now. I'm in a hotel room and I'm here visiting my parents. And I did bring some Beyblades with me, so I will be doing some unboxings today as a Christmas unboxing video, I guess. And hey, let's see what Hank's up to. Hank! Merry Christmas, Hank! Merry Christmas! He's just chewing on his toy. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see behind me, there's my Hasbro Bay Locker. I got some Hasbro Beyblades with me. I also have my Starstorm Stadium and some um, of the Hasbro Beyblades right here and some unboxings to do. So stay tuned. All right, so this is going to be quite an informal unboxing video, but these are all the things I have to unbox. I have the Nintendo 3DS Beyblade Burst God game. It comes with this awesome recolor of Balder Bumper Bite and the WBBA store exclusive of a Materio 7 Meteor Extreme Random Layer Collection Volume 9 and this Random Booster Volume 1, which is um, Trident. The prize Beyblade is Trident, and that's actually Trident right inside of the um, box. So I want to start off with. Hmm, let's start off with Random Layer Collection. Alright, so you could get these through the Gashapon machines in Japan, or if you could find a seller who is willing to sell you the whole set, you can also get that through that way. I did get these from Maruti. It's kind of like Easter. Alright, this one is Inferno Ifrits. Uh, Killer Death Scyther, the blue one, Acid Anubis, and the Maximum Garuda red recolor version, and this is Screw Trident. Let's just start off with Screw Trident. Oh, here are the stickers. Looks pretty cool. And here is Screw Trident, and it has a very weird gimmick that um, these inner parts are rubber. This is a stamina type, by the way. So these orange, orangey red parts are rubber. And let me see if I could demonstrate what the gimmick is. Okay, here we go. So you can see this inner circle here, it moves, which is pretty nice. They kind of act like bumpers. So when it gets hit, it, it'll just like kind of absorb the, the impact which is neat. I'm not sure if it'll really work in real life, but it just looks really cool. Like it's this um, inner plastic part isn't even attached to the outer one. It's attached to the rubber. That's kind of cool. And here are the teeth. Pretty dis decent teeth. Uh, kind of, yeah, looks okay. But yeah, that is screw tridents. And I do want to compare it to the regular Trident I have here, so uh, I'll do that in a little bit. This one is Inferno Ifrit. Got this nice black recolor. Nothing much to say about this. I don't see it getting used a lot, in tournaments anyway, but Still looks pretty neat. I'm actually going through these really, really quickly. Next up is Acid Anubis. I'll put on the stickers later and then show you how they all look like with the stickers. And this actually, oops, actually looks really, really neat. All white with just the gold here. And um, let's see how the stickers look like. And it's got blue, blue ears to match the blue eyes. It looks very angelic. Next up we have Killer Death Scyther. And I actually love this color. I've seen pictures of it and unboxings of these already. But yeah, look at the red wing on that, or the red blade. Oh, and that, like, the plastic is blue. It just looks really cool. It's kind of like a 
kind of like ice. Kind of reminds me of a White Walker from, um, what do you call it, Game of Thrones. And here are the stickers, and that's going to look actually really great all put together. But yeah, that red wing or that blade just sticks out. And for some reason it doesn't, it's like really, it gets really stuck. Like right there. I have to kind of force it a little bit more. But yeah, Killer Death right there. This is an awesome recolor. And the last one, people have been calling this the tomato because it's red. <laughs> And you know, the yellow one, it's been trending. It's been called the banana. Um, Maximum Garuda, which is currently banned in WBO tournaments, but it's actually real, cause it's so good. It's, it's gross. <laughs> but yeah, Maximum Garuda. If, if uh, you can't get any um, Maximum Garudas through the random booster collection, uh, around the boosters yeah like this is also a good way to get it because it's the layer that's really important and yeah it just looks pretty cool I actually like this color more than the yellow one the yellow one was a little bit too bold in my taste for my taste but yeah maximum Garuda really great for stamina all right so I want to put all the stickers on these guys and show them all to you so here are all the stickers for Screw Trident. There's a lot of stickers on this one. It's actually pretty hard to put them on, but it's pretty worth it. It looks really nice. Here's the gimmick again for this god layer. And probably my favorite looking one out of the whole random layer collection is Killer Death Scyther. I really like the ice blue plastic on it and all these stickers just match up really well. And we have Acid Anubis and Inferno Ifrit. These are pretty easy to put on. Probably my least two favorite in this collection. And lastly, I did not put the stickers on Maximum Garuda because it's actually, um, the stickers will cause friction or drag, so it's better as a stamina wheel without the stickers. All right, so that is the random layer collection. I do wanna move on to random booster volume one because I wanna compare it to, um, I wanna compare the regular Trident to the new one. So let's get this one open. All right, so here is the Trident layer. And Screw Trident is really more rounded. This has a lot more sharper edges and it's um, used more for stationary attack. That's the view of the teeth. And this is actually my first Trident layer, uh, the Takara Tobi version at least. I do have a Hasbro one. For the disc we have Heavy and this one should be Claw. Yeah, so Trident Heavy Claw is the prize Beyblade and Random Booster Volume 1. And the stickers are right here, so I could put that on real quick. And here's Trident with all the stickers and a side-by-side -side comparison to Screw Trident. This is definitely an upgrade. And actually, I haven't really tried out the teeth and see how this, these feel. Eh, they're okay. I mean, it is a stamina type after all, so it's not going to be great, but they're pretty decent. All right, so let's move on to the next unboxing. I'm going to uh, move on to Amaterios. So this is a WBBA store exclusive, only in Japan. It comes with 7 Meteor Extreme. It's a top flap. Just side view showing off the uh, little arcade in Japan. All the parts. Ooh, it comes with a gold seven. Looks really nice. All right, so let's just get this open. Oh, and it also comes with a 
bay logger insert. And these don't come with stickers, so it's going to be a lot faster to unbox. Ooh, I really like that purple and black extreme. And these are just the instructions. There's nothing else in there. So let's take a look at... Amaterios the layer. We have a lot of Amaterios layers recently, but this actually looks really cool. I like the purple under layer here. It looks really nice against the black. You can kind of see it through the black plastic on top. And then the disc and driver we or the disc and frame we have seven. Seven being one of the better discs really heavy too but yeah it just looks really really cool all painted gold you can see all the hidden sevens inside there they kind of look like lightning bolts and then we have a meteor for the frame and we have this awesome purple extreme driver looks really nice and all together it matches really well like uh, the gold disc with the gold paint and then the red dots here with the red uh, frame and the purple and black for the purple and plastic, uh, black plastic on top. Looks really nice. Alright, so that's it for our materials. Let's move on to the purple version of Balder Bumper Bite. I think it's like the same colors, pretty much. So I'm just going to unbox the, the Beyblade. I'm not going to do any gameplay for the game. But yeah, here's the game. It has all the god Beyblades. And that's a really nice color for Boulder. Um, instructions. And a little promo for the Mugen Stadium. And another promo for like um, the transformation set, Nightmare Longinus and Sieg Excalibur. Wow, this looks really cool. Dump that all out. And yeah, let's start off with the layer. It just looks really, really nice. Yeah, basically this kind of the same colors as on materials, except that the purple shows more. Same color scheme. And then we have this really cool purple bumper disc. And of course we have bite. Have another bite. It's really good. As these are pretty hard to come by, so... Um, if you're having trouble winning Balder, this is a good way to get it. It's actually it's cheap too, because you're paying for a Beyblade and a game. Alright, so we have Balder Bumper Bite and Amaterio 7 Meteor Extreme. Alright, so I guess that's it for this unboxing. Let's bring everything back out again. There we go. Better view of everything. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst and a lot more battles too. So stay tuned.